Hi Pisces, welcome. And welcome to everybody who is new. And to those of you who are returning, I really appreciate you being here. This reading today is going to be about you and them. Them can be anybody. It could be romantic. It could be work, friends, family, anybody at all. Please only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. And you might check out your other placements for a more complete picture or if this reading does not resonate with you. All right. Now this particular group of cards is only here to help you to decide who this might be about. Now the best indicator of who this is about will come straight from you. You know, who's on your mind a lot? Who are you currently dealing with where there could either be something great or a problem? But you're going to know by the way you feel. This is just here to help you in case maybe there's more than one. Here you have monk or nun. So this could be somebody who's very spiritual, religious, and they do focus on that. Or they work in that. Or they, you know, have something to do with that in some aspect. Here's phobias. So this could be somebody who has um, stresses, fears, concerns about potential happenings. Or, again, they work with that, like say maybe being a therapist, something like that. Here is Asia. So that could be um, somebody from Asia, the Asian de, um, descent, or say they love the Asian culture, they teach it, uh, they love Asian food. It could be anything like that. This is really broad, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, you have biblical. So on either side, you have something that has to do with the spiritual side of things. So that, you know, could be a strong indicator. Okay, now let's go ahead and get an overall energy for this reading. And see what this might entail. Have patience. Love is patient and kind always. Okay, so that's giving you a big clue about what is going on. Something, you know, maybe it has to do with the phobias. You don't know right now. But it's saying you need to be really patient with whoever you're dealing with. Okay, it's a kind of a big deal. All right, let's get an overall tarot for this. Sometimes it can be hard to have patience just in general with anything. But that is what is needed right now. And with phobias right in the middle, yeah, maybe it is much needed. Oh, okay. That's interesting. You have the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands, I would have to say, probably is not that patient. It depends. I guess it's if something if it's something she wants, she is I think has the ability to be patient. But typically the Queen of Wands goes for what she is passionate about. She's bold. She gets out there and she gets it. Whatever this passion is of hers. So that is a little bit kind of counter to the have patience. So to me, it almost means while they both might be true, maybe there needs to be balance. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get an oracle card, one for you, one for them, and one for how you are together. Okay, yours is... <laughs> Balance, spirituality, and practicality. So what I was talking about here with balance could apply. These things seem to be linked, by the way. 
So, you know, you have spirituality here, but you need to have balance. And I think that's what this is showing here. Because I just don't see the Queen of Wands being that patient. So balance is huge. And yeah, this is saying balance the heart and the head. When the two work together and work well together, you get the best results. All right, let's see their energy. Time to give rather than take. And my phone just dinged. So there might be something to that. And that, yeah. Okay, if it's if the phone is dinging along with my thoughts, this makes perfect sense. I was just getting ready to say, maybe they, you know, are working with you or you're in a relationship, right? Time to give rather than take. Balance spirituality and practicality. And here's phobias. So maybe it's your side that has, you know, these stresses and here they're not having the patience they need quite possible okay let's get one for how you are together surrender to the divine and again that's up here and remember at the bottom of the deck you have biblical Maybe we should just go ahead and put that card right out here. Because, like I said, it's sandwiching what's here in the middle. Okay? So, you need to surrender to the divine to get the help that should be brought in. And with monk or nun and biblical on either side see that, you know, having a real ring of truth to it. And here you have spirituality. Okay, let's get a card for you. Okay. This is the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is taking action. But they are being very slow, very deliberate, because it is so much more important for them to be accurate than to get something done with speed. Okay? So, slow, accurate, to make for sure that everything's done exactly the way it should be. And something else about this energy, it talks about that there is an angel or somebody watching over you helping you through this. So again, bringing in the spiritual aspect potentially. Or it could be a human, uh, you know, somebody here on this earthly plane. But this is the first reading like this where I feel so much is tied in together. That's what I'm feeling about this. There's a lot tied in with this. Okay, let's get a card for them. A time to give rather than take. Okay. Yeah. What this is saying is they need to put an end to what's been going on. They need to get out of the cycle they're in. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. And typically with this, there can be hurt. You know, these are thoughts. And there could be something hurtful that happened. It doesn't have to, but it definitely is a sense of relief. If they have this ending, this is the sunrise. They get up and they go to their sunrise, which is their happiness. So they're definitely having an ending. And here it says time to... <laughs> Again... Sorry about the dinging, but boy, I'm not sure I might have to look back on this. Did it happen every time I was on their energy? Okay, anyway, 
a time to give rather than take. So it looks like they're ending a cycle of taking to bring in the cycle of being a part of you. You know, this is a relationship. So it looks like they are making changes. Okay. And now let's get one for surrender to the divine, which is how you are together. Absolutely beautiful. The Ten of Pentacles, which is a wonderful energy. So this is saying, if they take action and go slow and be very attentive, very observant, you know, try to make things just right for them, it will bring in the best results. And it is balancing spirituality and practicality not being heavy on one side or the other, but using both, you know, integrating them both to bring out the best results. And for them, it looks like having an ending of being a taker and taking time with you as a giver, maybe to help you balance this out which will also help them too, because it looks like they need balance, right? The um, way you guys are going to be together is going to be beautiful. So you have surrender to the divine. And over here you have spirituality. Up there, definitely spirituality, divine. So by surrendering to the, surrendering to the divine and working together, you're going to be bringing in one of the best energies there is in a tarot, which is a Ten of Pentacles. This is a long-lasting energy about happiness, contentment with you and those you love. And it can be the kind that is with you for so long that you can leave a legacy. It can also talk about um, an inheritance or, you know, receiving something of great value. And, of course, that could be different for everybody. Have patience. You might have to have patience to get to this point. Go for what it is you're passionate about. But, like I said, I think this is saying, do these things, but have balance with it. Don't just go full force. And don't just sit back for eternity. Have a balance there. Okay? And at the bottom of the deck, you have the fool. So what this is saying is, you know, you going through this will bring in a brand new beginning. Here's the end to the, a cycle for them. Maybe this beginning is for them, which is a huge new beginning. It's one... And I could see how this could be here. Time to give rather than take. Here is a brand new beginning, making something, an adventure, something exciting, something new, stepping out of their comfort zone. You know, making a big shift from where they've been to where they're going. Okay, now let's go ahead and see the potential outcome. Very interesting reading. Magic works through you. And this is for both of you. So what I'm getting from this is, okay, again, it's the spiritual side of things. The magic works through you. The outcome, right? If you two get together and work this, you know, with patience, with balance, being thorough, and them having this new beginning, getting rid of the taking and adding in the giving, 
And I don't mean, you know, like martyrdom or anything, but I mean sharing, really sharing. It's going to end up being just beautiful. Mm -hmm. And throughout this reading, the divine spirituality is coming through. So I think that um, is going to be a part of this. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, we have the King of Swords. Now, <laughs> again, we have this mix of head and heart, right? Magic. You think of that as being the heart. Here, you think of that as being the head. The King of Swords is very wise and he bases all his decisions on what he knows to be truth. So here he is making these decisions based on truth and the magic works through you. So knowing that together in your truth you can bring about what you want together, which is beautiful. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the emperor. Very powerful time. And I see this not as much as a person as it is an overall energy, right? It's a powerful time to make the decisions to go forward in this. Mm-hmm. So it does look very good, and it looks like spirituality and practicality both play a big part in this. Yeah, so there needs to be balance in that. Definitely balance. And I think right here is beautiful. By surrendering to the divine, working together, you're going to be bringing in the just absolutely wonderful energy. Mm -hmm. And this Ten of Pentacles, of course, talks about happiness and many other heart-centered things, but it's also Pentacles, which can include, you know, the logical side of things. So spiritual side both spiritual side practical 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 spiritual spiritual emotional spiritual heart centered there's just this big mix here's logical Here's uh, heart center. There's just a huge mix here. So it's saying use both together and do it in a very effective way. Another ding on the phone. Hard to believe. Okay. Here, the universe is saying you're ready to get it started. And um, it's the Page of Cups. So you're ready to get this going. And the Page of Cups is about love. Here you have the Six of Wands, and this is saying you are going to be victorious. And you are going to have supporters in this. And you have the Empress. So you have beautiful energy. The Empress is abundance. Very creative. Wonderful things flow into her. Like happiness, joy, laughter, abundance, love. So, victory and abundance and love are coming in. You're ready to get it going. And at the bottom of the deck is confirmation of the challenges. All right. So, now let's go ahead and do something a little bit different here. I'm going to get some letters, and these are just, again, 
more for like um, up here to give you ideas, clues. I'm going to move this over here. Maybe your initials, maybe the states. Would that be Iowa? Well, we definitely have vowels. So name, initials, abbreviations, anything that you could see as being helpful or acknowledgement, you know, of what's going on. And you have a blank. So there are different words here that you can make. Um, there might be. Is AR Arizona, right? Let's see. Um, there are quite a few different words because you have some interesting letters and you have a blank. So, read, size, art, dare is coming to me, rise, rise above what's going on and go forward. Ire could be irritation. Anyway, this is for you to look at and see if anything um, relates to you or confirms or has a word that helps you with this, okay? And now let's go ahead and get some charms. See what we get. Okay, I'm out. Move this over so we have a dark background. Here you have a car. Looks a little bit more like a vintage car. But for me, the modes of transportation means that you are going forward. You know, you're going to go for this and make the best that you can. Here you have a baby buggy. Again, it's a mode of transportation. <laughs> Believe it or not. But... It means a few things. One, it's a very slow moving mode of transportation. And it's also the meaning behind that is there is something precious. So it's saying that this is very precious to you. Okay. Working on it is definitely worth your time and effort. And you have a heart. So there's much love. You have... A butterfly. Time for transformation. Mm -hmm. Here's a pair of scissors. So this is saying there's something that you're going to be cutting out. And you can see that right here. You know, cutting out that cycle to have a new beginning. A pencil. That could be... That what comes to me, and it doesn't necessarily have to be that, but not literally using a pencil, but especially for this side over here, like this invisible contract, they're going to get out of this energy because it's more important to them to be with you in a beautiful way. So it's kind of like, yeah, I'm getting out of this and signing my new contract. That's just what's coming to me. And here you have a key with a heart on top. So this is saying, you know, unlock that door. Go in. Work on this. It's going to bring this beautiful, strong love. Okay? I really hope this helps. Thank you so much. And if you like this, please give it a like, share, subscribe, and Hit the bell notification and leave comments. I would love to find out how this works for you. Thank you so much. Much love. Bye.